Hello everybody, my name is Ethan Ridings. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Kansas City, Kansas. I have been playing music for six years now and my main instrument's guitar. I also sing, play bass, play drums, and a very little bit of piano as you will see obviously in a few minutes. But today I'm going to show you how to add a software instrument and record MIDI and quantize in your DAW, including preparing the tracks, adding the instrument, setting the click and count off, and recording effect efficiently. So let's start. I'm using Logic Pro X and I use this software. I used to use Pro Tools but I honestly just got tired of using it and I wanted to try something different. So I got Logic Pro and I do not regret it whatsoever. I love Logic. It's awesome. It has so many settings, so many presets, so many plugins that are built into the software that um, you can do with Pro Tools, but it's way more user friendly for like songwriters or singers or musicians in general that are sitting in their basement every day and recording something. <laughs> so let's begin with showing you how to turn on the click. So basically all you have to do is come over here, make sure this little click setting right here is turned on. There is a key cam command for that, but to do it manually, you just have to come over here from this arrow, click it, and turn the click on. So we're going to be recording a string sound over this guitar piece that can come from comes from a song that I wrote a while back, just a single track. But here it is, it's just going to play just one short section of it. Yeah, so there you go, that's pretty much the whole song, <laughs> just repeated. But um, I should mention that I couldn't find out how to get the sound to come through my, come through into the recording, the screen recording software. So I just have my speakers playing, my studio speakers playing through my MacBook's internal mic. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad, but I'm just going to have to deal with it for now. So to create the software instrument, first you want to create the software instrument track. So you want to go to this new tracks button, click it, see software instrument right there. Here's all the tracks you can create in Logic. Um, getting into the details, don't really worry about any of this stuff. Uh, just make sure your output devices are set correctly. Click create. It should open up the library automatically. Um, if it doesn't, your library place is right over here. So you just click library. Um, so we want to do a string sound. So we're going to go over to orchestral strings. And I found that string ensemble is the best sound that I can get, especially for this piece. So to record, we want to make sure that this record enabled button is on. I'm using a M-Audio Axiom MIDI controller, and I have it set to my specifications with the, all the controls up on the top, but basically we're only going to be using the keys of it. But here's a quick little sample of the sound. So it's really just a nice string sound, and let's record. So make sure that's enabled. Make sure everything that you want to hear isn't muted. Uh, right now just click record and it will give you a one bar count off. Yeah, so there's my region right there that I just made. And as you can see, I am a little bit off from the beginning, which I did purposely to show you how to quantize this. So let's quantize this first piece right here. So let's do eighth note since my parameters are set to eight, and it should automatically bring it to the beat. this last note right there. Let's stretch that out a little more. Give it a fuller sound. I didn't show you this, but this is one of the zoom functions. You can also zoom vertically, but this is zooming horizontally. Now let's copy and paste this to get 
to loop this a few times. The key command is what I use, Command-C. Just click on the bar. And you want to copy to, or paste to, and Command-V. There you go. That's really how you do MIDI. There you go. Now, sh you should know how to add a software instrument and record MIDI and quantize in your DAW, including preparing the tracks, adding the instrument, setting the click and count off, and recording efficiently. Sounds pretty spunky to me. Thank you for listening.